Hey guys, this is Sports with Dylan. There's been a trade. There has been a trade in the NHL and I am so happy because I was stressing to try and find anything to make a video about. Kevin Fiala, the Minnesota Wild Ford, was traded to the Los Angeles Kings. This trade was a very interesting one because the Minnesota Wild are in a win-now stage. So why would they trade away their star fork? It makes no sense to me. A lot of things don't make sense to me, I'm starting to realize on this channel. Anyways, I don't get why a contending team would trade away one of their best players. And... They got a fair return, but not a win-now return. They got the Kings defenseman Brock Faber and a 2022 first-round pick. So not a bad return. I'd say that's a fair deal on both sides. But the Kings are kind of in the middle of a rebuild. I think they're getting there, but they still have some pieces they need to fix. I know they made the playoffs this year, but it seemed more like a stroke of luck. I think there'll be a couple more years before they make the playoffs again. While the Wilds are a contending team, they could go far into the playoffs this year. But now, they just trade away one of their best forwards. So now you've got Krill Kaprizov, but after that, you don't really have any young star players on the Wild. Now, the Kings, as soon as they acquired him, managed to sign him to a Seven-year extension. And cheap as well. They got a great deal out of this. So even if the trade was even, the Kings definitely won it. Because they got the huge, cheap extension. And they'll have this young player long-term. It makes so much sense for the Kings. And I think this could boost the rebuilds. I still think it's going to be two more years before we see the Kings back in the playoffs. But... Once they're in the playoffs, they're going to be in it hard. The Wild, on the other hand, play in a really tough division, and now they trade away one of their better forwards. Again, I don't understand why a contending team would trade away one of their best forwards. But, for some reason, they did. I'm starting to think something might be up with Kevin Fiala, some locker room issues. Because he was traded from the Predators to the Wild a couple years ago. Now that was a fair deal. It was just involving two players. So there's no evidence of it just being locker room troubles. In fact, I would say the Predators at the time got the better side of the deal. Now though, the Wilds have traded away him again. And that's when it starts to get suspicious. When a player that seems to be playing great, and is in a good situation, it's traded away a couple of times, that's when it starts to get suspicious about some locker room issues. I'm not sure though, because the Kings had a huge extension lined up. They didn't even seem to try and interview him or anything. So I think they knew he's a stable presence in the locker room. So that brings me back to the question, why would the Wild, a contending team, trade away one of their best players? It Dumped me. I do not know. But the Wild will be an interesting team now this free agency because either they're going to go back into out of the playoffs and a couple more years of misery despite having Kirill Kaprizov or they'll make some big, big signings this offseason. I mean, it's possible the Predators have offered a deal to Philip Forsberg but there's been no signing yet. And Johnny Goudreau hasn't been offered a deal, as far as I know, which means either of those players could go on the market and the Wild could go to sign them, which would make sense because then they'd be clearing up more cap space. But it'd make even more sense to just hold on to Kevin Fiala until they got one of those players. So then you can make sure, because maybe the deal falls through right before they sign them 
and then now they're out. They lost on their big bet. So it would make sense to hold on to him. At the same time, to make this more complicated for you guys, the draft in the NHL comes before free agency, which means if they want a draft pick this year desperately, then they may have just went all in. And that's possible what it was. They really wanted a player this year and still do want him. So they figure the Kings draft pick is going to get him, which means... Might as well trade a player for him. But most players in the NHL take a couple of years before they can actually make it to the NHL. And then even in the NHL, normally Kirill Kaprizov is obviously an exception, but normally takes a couple of years in the NHL to become a superstar. Now, obviously, like I said, there are exceptions. Kirill Kaprizov, Connor McDavid... There's plenty of players, Patrick Kane, that have just gone on fire off the bat, but plenty that haven't. So I'm not sure if it would be the smartest idea for contender to put all their eggs in the basket of a player that might not play for a couple years and even then isn't necessarily going to play very well. But we'll see what becomes this trade. It'll be interesting who the wild draft. I will look at that. And like I said, maybe in a couple weeks, Phil Forsberg or Johnny Gaudreau or both, that would be hilarious if they're both on the same team. But I highly doubt that's going to happen. Anyways, it's possible that either of them are on the wild a couple weeks' time. So we'll have to just keep our eyes open and you will see a video on it. But for now, thanks for watching.